What's up agents and welcome back to another Division video. The Division's Trello board has been updated with a bunch of juicy stuff coming in TU 20.2 and I thought I'd just take 5 minutes just to go through it and keep everybody updated with the latest news. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe and consider joining the channel and let's get straight into it. So we're going to go over to the fix ready section because uh, this is the one that we're really interested in. In progress for the moment is stability crashes, uh, vanity appearance mods. Uh, that's been there for a long, long time though. Uh, rogue agents deploying two turrets at the same time. This can be pretty aggravating in descent and that's still on the... Uh, and the preservation talent can be triggered by status effect damage uh, time of, you know, damage over time kills. So that's still a thing. So if any of them are the ones that you are looking for, they are not currently in the fix ready. Uh, but the bunch got moved in today and yesterday so we're going to go over them uh they fixed strange strange i'm absolutely butchering talking right now uh strained appearing twice in the wrath talent pool for descent that's super op if you're running long-term descent so obvious that that was going to disappear uh the menu crashes when selecting multiple items in the inventory using the shift key i do this all the time and this i've not had this crash let me know down below if you guys have had that crash uh, the tinkering menu, uh, the menu crashes when two items of the same type are equipped and the tinkering tab is opened in the tinkering station. I had no idea. So for example, we've got here, if you have one AR equipped in your primary slot and another AR equipped in your secondary slot, when entering the tinkering menu, the menu will disappear. Ah, that's what's been causing it to disappear. I understand this now. And we've got the workaround here. You can tinker the desired weapon directly from the inventory by selecting the item without needing to go through the station. Alternatively, you can unequip one of the items. I had no idea that was what was causing it, but at least there's a workaround for the moment and the fix for it is on the way. Uh, we've got some manhunt progression fixes. So the progression meter for the prime target displays an incorrect percentage on the map uh, after playing co-op. It always seems to be co-op that messes the manhunt up. My best advice is start the manhunt solo joining with your teammates and finish it solo it seems to be the only way to ever get through it without any kind of bumps and that's i've never had any issues with it but i always stick to that routine uh lots of people i know in my discord have already got 23 percent instead of 25 so but there's a fix for it so hopefully that's the end of all that descent a lot of people have been saying about this in my comments i do the descent reviews and guides a lot of people say i'm not playing it until they fix this but it's coming 20.2 uh, the collectibles being received when you complete the weekly project. Hopefully that will just keep back, you know, go back in history and every time you complete it, you'll get another one until you finally catch up. Uh, loadouts cannot be equipped in the shooting range. That was meant to become with TU-20, but they've got a fix for it. When the Palisade Steelworks is selected as targeted loot, uh, named items that drop alongside it, also have the Palisade Steelworks icon. Yeah, I've noticed that in Descent. I Not in Descent, sorry, in Countdown. I've been farming a lot of this gear to try and get some God Rolls, some Unicorns. And when you get a pile of loot, it looks like you could have about three or four different items. Um, but when you actually investigate it, you've just got one. So, yep, that's good. Nice little UI fix there as well. The uh, polyethene the plating talent description is incorrect. Yes, it's the wrong way around. Um, I think it says it goes, it increases from four to zero or something like that, if I remember correctly, but they're changing the word on it. The talent itself works though, so that's fine. Global event. Ah, okay, great. So when, re, so when reanimated comes back around, that green corrosive cloud is no longer going to damage anything that's friendly uh, because that really did cause problems, perhaps, you know, in hostage rescues and things like that. So that's been fixed. That's great. Open world rogue encounters spawn with story difficulty stats. I've not had this happen to me, but they have fixed it. Then we've got some more tinkering fixes. The attribute of exotic weapons cannot be optimized if it is a weapon type specific core attribute. That's good. That definitely needed fixing so we can get max rolls after re-rolling. This season was all about re-rolling exotics, really because it gave us the you know the first time that we could re-roll you know anything we wanted onto that bottom slot the second core of the core attribute of the capacitor exotic rifle cannot be optimized they have fixed it 
Now, I was thinking maybe they might change that gun completely, but they've just fixed it. So, GG to that. When it comes to damaging armoured targets, the uh, the capacitor is staying as a really, really good choice. And then the Catharsis Exotic Mask cannot be optimised. I had no idea. Uh, mine was optimised before this patch, but it's been fixed. So, if you've got one that's not optimised, as of TU 20.2, you'll be okay. Uh, and that's it. That is it. There's not much left on the in-progress board. If there's anything outside of these fixes that you've got going on that is not on the board, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, agents. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and consider joining the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for all the support, agents. Goodbye.